Hi, my name is Johannes and I'm the co-founder of NFT Port. Welcome to ETH Online. We hope that you're going to have an excellent hackathon. And NFT Port is the Stripe for NFTs, a one-stop and simple NFT infrastructure and APIs for developers. So our goal is to help you bring your NFT application to market in hours instead of months. And we believe this is super helpful, especially during hackathons where time is of necessity. So during today's video, I'm going to show you what's possible to be built uh, with NFT port and get you up and running super quickly. Just for context, some of the teams that are using us range from small startups all the way up to leading uh, Ethereum applications such as Poop. And NFT port is built by a team of NATO, Moniz and NVIDIA and backed by the co-founders such as Polygon, uh, Wise and, and Skype. So why NFT port is necessary or the reason why it exists is because developing NFT application used to be really, really hard uh, or slow, basically, because the whole blockchain stack is complex, you know, learning, uh, grasping everything, and especially all the technical nuances is difficult. Um, then everything related to do with infrastructure uh, is by the nature is difficult. So our sort of goal is to really abstract away uh, the complexity and enable developers. And so that's, that's our mission is to really empower developers uh, so they can uh, make the internet ownable by uh, end users and citizens. We have three sort of core products uh, which help you in your development. One is multi-chain data. So basically that includes metadata, um, files, contracts, etc. So if you have to pull any kind of NFT data into your application, then you can do it super simply uh, with simple REST APIs, which I'm going to uh, demo to you as well. Then secondly, easy minting. So you can programmatically mint super easy using our APIs. Uh, so, and, and the most simplest API is you just have to make one API goal uh, and you can learn basically anything into an NFT. And then we also have an enhanced APIs, uh, APIs which allow you to do uh, very cool things uh, such as basically doing reverse image searches, um, finding duplicate NFTs, etc, etc. Um, and there's, um, if you get stuck uh, anywhere or you have any questions, thoughts, ideas you want to share, then we have a uh, public NFT developer community as well uh, in, in Discord, which you can uh, join anytime. So just a few um, examples. So let's say you want to pull in uh, all the NFTs uh, and you can do it super simply, uh, either from Ethereum, Polygon. So you can just basically get all the all the NFTs that are on Ethereum's chain. Now, let's say you want to do a little bit more something specific, and uh, you want to get. Let's see, all punks uh, data. So I'll take Punk's contract and um, I'm going to get all NFTs for this contract. So I just put in the contract address, set the request, and then basically I will start getting where the API returns all the NFTs to their part of this contract. And now as a next step, let's say you want to drill even more down, you want to get uh, specific metadata about uh, these NFTs, then uh, this is the bank number one, and you will have all the metadata about this bank attributes, image URL, where is it stored, uh, and a lot of NFTs 
are hosted on IPFS. So, but the downside is it can be really slow uh, at times and end users don't want to wait uh, for IPFS to load. They may also have a cached image URL as well. So you can basically use that URL in case you are building fast end user applications and you want to display uh, NFTs to your users. As well, uh, we offer, or you can actually get NFTs owned by account. Uh, so any uh, wallet uh, account address, you can see for all the, all the NFTs that this account owns. So let's say like uh, one example account I have here. And the API returns all of the NFTs that this wallet uh, owns. Again, super useful uh, in different applications. Uh, normally, previously, you had to do a lot of engineering to uh, get this kind of functionality. Then the second part, um, oh, and as a few examples, uh, what have we built already with these uh, multi-chain data endpoints? Uh, so one is Fringible, so which is basically Google for NFTs. So let's say you have a cool, uh, cool Vitalik image and uh, you want to find, uh, let's say we have maybe some much better image format. And you want to find basically similar images, just uh, similar NFTs, just like Google reverse image uh, would does work. Uh, basically that's, uh, that's what we get. Uh, as you can see, we have Vitalik and other similar um, profile pictures as well. And this again, uh, quite a large um, design space, all the products that can be built um, using these simple multi-chain data APIs. Then uh, the second big part is what we initially saw, uh, a pain that we ourselves had was the minting is super um, hard, uh, like obviously for people who know how to write Solidity, um, then it's, you know, it can be easy, but it still takes a lot of time. So that's why we abstracted away a lot of the complexity. And one endpoint, easy minting, is basically so simple that you can just run one command, sorry, one API call uh, to mint an NFT. So let's, uh, this is that, let's take, um, here and let's say we want to do an into an NFT then what we can do and we'll mint on currently on Polygon um, but Ethereum is also available so big man we'll put it online paste the URL here and I'll mint to my own address to request and there we have it and it will also show them you can check, check it later and the polygon scan as well um, also, obviously, in opens it, etc. etc. Uh, you can use any uh, or sort of the most popular uh, languages as well. Uh, so, let's say you want to do it in Python, then we show the exact code snippets to do it uh, in all of the basically most popular programming languages. Now if you want to customize your minting, uh, meaning let's say you want to create your own uh, collection in OpenSea, uh, then what you can do is deploy an NFT contract first, uh, your own contract. Again, let's do it in Polygon because it's uh, free. Uh, so 
we provide up to 1000 NFT mints uh, for free on Polygon and if you need to mint more than that then just reach out to us on Discord and we can ha happily increase those limits uh, but we just set the limits so somebody actually doesn't DDoS us at the moment so uh, if on my contract something went haywire here anyhow I have to do some debugging but it usually works uh, and when you have your contract deployed then as the next step what you can do is use storage you can upload a file to IPFS. So let's say I copy paste that from here. I have this uh, NFT port logo here. Logo.png. Um, super si simple. We cut back the hyperfest URL. Now what we can do is upload metadata to IPFS. And here I would be basically pasting the file URL. Uh, so this is the logo that I just uploaded. Put the NFT um, name, description. You can actually do that as well. And I can set. All right, let's put NFT logo. Description. Uh, and if you want to set any attributes for the NFT, then you can do that here as well. And we get back to IPFS uh, URI. And that we could, as the final step, we would use that basically in the customizable minting. Um, in the customer minting the contract address would be the contract that we deployed uh, but it unfortunately didn't work at the moment so the metadata URI would be the one that we just got back from the upload metadata type of this and mint to address the address that you want to mint it and you would shoot it away you know some of the applica applications that are built uh, with those kind of easy minting APIs, um, you know, this all the way up to uh, NFT camera app. Uh, this is built, for example, only by one person during a weekend. Um, so that's super, super um, impressive, um, considering, considering the time frame. And you can take any photo and uh, turn it into one NFT. Uh, so using, and it's built on NFT port. There's a lot of other teams uh, all the way from building basic Spotify for NFTs um, doing ticket events for NFTs uh, turning books into NFTs uh, turning game assets into NFTs you name it uh, basically uh, a lot of different teams building on top of NFT port uh, using this kind of super simple um, capability uh, meeting wise then I'm going to show you uh, there's also some user um, endpoints where you can basically get all the contracts and um, NFTs that the, you as a user have uh, here uh, deployed or minted. 
Then we have search, uh, basically meaning you can search across uh, NFTs uh, by text and you get back uh, the number of results uh, were either uh, in the NFT title or description uh, is this uh, string, so metallic. Then we have recommendations, AI, which is basically uh, something that you just saw in Google for NFTs. So this uses recommendations AI. And we also have copy detection AI, meaning we could use this endpoint to basically, let's say if there is, you know, somebody takes punks, crypto punks, and tries to basically mimic them or sort of um, tries to fraud users, um, then you could basically find duplicate NFTs uh, using this endpoint. Uh, and it uses uh, AI to do the, that kind of visual, visual matching. So here's the sort of the quick rundown of um, NFT port. And um, as, as I said previously as well, if you have any questions, thoughts, um, need any kind of support then we are more than happy to help during uh, during the hackathon uh, that's why we are here to give you wings uh, so uh, it's the best time to build NFT based applications and to bring your ideas to life uh, and with that we'd like to thank you and have a happy hackathon